announce the winners, and you guys can stick around and see if you pick the right guys. All right, coming to the stage next, please welcome Mr. Perry Kurtz, everybody. Perry. Woo! Comedian, as you can tell, I'm an ex-male stripper. And I'll tell you when it's a fucking joke, okay? And uh, I had to get out of stripping because I lost my good figure. I got this new one now from the side. I look like a sloppy rolled joint. Thanks for laughing at me, you smarmy bastard. But I'm a little different than a lot of the comedians you're going to see up here. First of all, I get laid. That differentiates me right there. I'm actually uh, happily married to the same woman for 17 years. Yeah. Amazing. In LA. You know, it's weird, is the women are all applauding, and I can't tell if you're genuinely happy for me or just glad I'm off the fucking street. I don't know. Really <laughs> but I'm lucky my wife is very funny. Also, my wife has very large breasts. Very large breasts, they are so big, they're actually smaller breasts orbiting around them. <laughs> And she got a great sense of humor. One night she was bending over and I was looking at her butt. I never think about what I'm saying. She looked bending over and I go, hey, honey, you're smiling at me. And she goes, Pfft. I said, what was that? She said, I threw you a kiss. And I was glad it wasn't a French kiss. There's something just us right there. There's a subject. Now, I know we got a lot of couples here, and that's something. What's good in the beginning when you're first going out with people, people are very, uh, very nervous. I've got a couple here, like you guys, you together, you're a couple right here. How long have you been together? Eight years. Yeah, I can tell you've been together a long time because you're sitting at the same table and you're not touching. That's it. When you're together for a while, you really don't care. You sit at separate ends of the table. It's like, you know what you want? What your own goddamn drink? And in the beginning, you won't even fart around each other. What will happen in the beginning, the guy will get up in the middle of the night, he'll creep into the bathroom, let it go, and come back and say, hey, the dog did that one. <laughs> or worse, he'll wait till you're asleep, cut one in bed, and slowly reach down, grab the sheets, and pull them up over your head, and try to kill you. Uh, ever been woken up by a fart? Ever had that happen? One wake up? I had that happen one night, I'm laying there, and I go, oh. So I, I nudged my wife, honey, you, you, you cut her really bad when she goes, oh, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Okay, all right, thank you. Phew. I go back to sleep a couple nights later, oh, Jesus, honey, honey, please. You did it again. Oh, honey, I'm really sorry, I didn't mean. All right, fine, don't do it again. Oh, my God. I go back to sleep three nights later, I wake up, it feels like my lungs were on fire. All the hair on my nostrils had fallen out on my chest. I'm laying there choking, and I go, honey, honey, honey. And I realize she wasn't in the bed. I realized that I woke myself up with my own fart. That's got to be the worst. Now, see, it's different with farts. It's when somebody else farts, it's like, oh, Jesus Christ, oh, right? But when it's your own, don't you change? Like, guys, when you're in bed, you cut your own, and there's nobody around there, you know, this isn't that bad, you know? And that's when you actually take the sheets yourself, and you go, I'm going to enjoy this while I can. I drove here through West Hollywood, saw a new restaurant. They're trying to cater to everybody. It's a uh, gay porno Mexican restaurant. It's called Del Taco. <laughs> Their specialty is a sausage in a soft taco. They're trying to appeal to both sides of the fence. Boy, when you guys get quiet, you don't fuck around. You know, you work with the <laughs> A lot of people think I look familiar. Want to clear that up right away. First of all, I am not uh, Larry King's retarded cousin. I am not Billie Jean King. And I am not a 10-year-old boy with progeria. So let's get that out of the way right away. I am very happy because I'm 53 years, 57 years old, and three years ago, I reproduced. I have a child. Yes, they repealed the troll law. And my daughter is so beautiful that when people see her, they go, your daughter is so beautiful. Your wife must be stunning. <laughs> yeah, and I'm a turd on a stick. Thank you very much. But one night I was coming out of the bathroom, almost knocked her over. She goes, Dad, you scared the crap out of me. I go, you can't say that. Crap's a bad word. Don't say it. Crap's bad. I can't say it. Don't say crap. Why can't I say crap? It's a bad word. So I shouldn't say it. Stop saying it. 
Besides, where did you learn a word like that? She points to her sister, from the bitch in the corner. <laughs> yeah, I love her though. Very cute thing. It's amazing, you know, that I can even have children. Because I'm 57, you know, I'm old. I'm an old guy, but I still. Calm <laughs> oh, down, you're going to slide right off your seat. Well, i got to get out of here. Uh, I want to thank you guys for coming down and supporting comedy. You're a good group. But uh, if you're driving home, please remember that a lot of people will be driving drunk. So if you are driving home tonight, drive as fast as you can. It's much harder for the My name's Bert Kirk. Thanks, man. Good night. Bert Kirk, everybody.